Yeah, so my name is Taylor. I'm 14, uh, live in Cardiff in Wales. I like skateboarding, uh, BMXing, mucking around outside, uh, drawing, playing on my Xbox, just reading as well, you know. And um, in the future, I think I'd like to start in the police service in um, armed response. Throughout my life, I kind of like knew I was kind of different. I never really identified with the girls, you know, like playing all the games and stuff. I was always, you know, playing out with the boys, playing football and wrestling. Um, and I kind of just knew that I was different, I think, when I was, I think, 10 or 11. I, everything kind of in my head just kind of clicked. A lot of more things just made sense to me. And I knew that I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be a girl and that I was actually supposed to be a boy. And my family have been like really supportive. They're all behind me. They all support like my transition and everything. They all just love me. January this year, I started um, on the treatment of hormone blockers, which just stops all the like the hormones and everything going through. I have to take them every four weeks and it feels so much better now because you feel like you've kind of stopped and that means you can carry on as yourself and you don't have to like go through all the things that like biological females would have to. I have to be taking the hormone blockers for another two years now until I turn 16 and then I get to go on with my choice of whether I want to start taking testosterone or not, which I think I will. And um, I think I'm gonna be a lot happier once my like voice lowers and start with facial hair and body hair. But last year, Fox came down to Wales to see us and um, he came into my school with the um, LGBT. After I'd said that I would, he told the whole school about me and what I was going through and how I was feeling. And it was amazing because then Everyone kind of knew, but I didn't, I didn't have to be worried about going up there and seeing it myself. It was really good. It felt like just like suddenly you just kind of a huge weight off your shoulders of kind of trying to conceal something. When I first told my mum, I kind of told her that I knew that something was different and that I never really felt like a girl. And I like told her that I felt like I was in the wrong body and I wasn't supposed to be in this body. And she was like, we both cried when I told her because it's so emotional and kind of figured it out. But she was immediately supportive. She immediately wanted to go to the GP and find out, you know, what we could do to kind of help me feel more com comfortable. Like with my sister, because she's six, she really kind of didn't really care. It was only like a month, you know, a month and a half before she like properly you know, just started, like, no mistakes, knowing who I was. Like, my only worries and concerns for the future, myself, for, like, kind of the time that it takes to get through the stuff and then surgery as I get older and, like, what that's going to involve and how much it's going to cost and stuff. Yeah, like, I do feel worried sometimes that because I'm like transgender and stuff that will affect my relationships and stuff like I would like a girlfriend but it's kind of hard and you know you kind of feel out of place especially at this age I, I would like one but it's kind of like you know how when what why who <laughs>
and because I hadn't forced the gender roles on him, even though I tried a little bit at the beginning, obviously I wanted a little bit of a Barbie to play with. You know, I tried to dress him in dresses and he, he was really disgusted and looked at me like, Ugh, I'm not wearing that. And then he said to me when he was about three or four, I'm only going to wear trousers. I'm never going to wear a skirt. And then eventually he asked to have his hair cut and after a little while I was like, okay, even though he had the most beautiful curly golden hair, didn't you? So I had to let go of my ideas about who I thought my child was going to be and accept who he actually was. Having a, a response to it, an emotional response to finding out that your child feels so unhappy in the body that they were born into it's natural that you feel extremely distressed. I think the only thing that I tried to do was never show Taylor that I felt like that and keep positive and calm for him because I thought he's distressed enough. The last thing he needs is for me to be distressed as well. And, and then we just found out as much as we could about it in our own time. My job as a mum is not to tell my children who they are, it's to support them in fully being themselves and only know they know who that is. I feel, you know, when I think about Taylor, I feel massively proud of him. We've gone on this journey together in so many ways and I feel hugely proud of him. But then when I think about it, the things that I'm proud of him for are not really to do with his gender anyway. Because the other thing to remember, I think, is that when your child changes gender is that they're not changing gender but becomes the gender that who they really are then you don't the person's the same it's still the per, same person in the house with you it's still T whether it's Tia or Taylor